Today Food is created by today with our sponsor, Whole Foods Market. Whatever makes you whole. And this morning on Today Food, it is Meatless Monday from actors to athletes to folks simply watching what they eat. A lot of people are jumping on board the plant-based eating trend. And these days, vegetarian meals are tasting better than ever. All vegetables should be cooked right from the frozen state. No longer just plain peas, plants are packing a punch. Plant-based eating is eating just plants, not using any processed foods like things with sugar, refined grains. If you're really gonna get people to eat healthy, it also has to taste really good with garlic and onions and vinegars. It's a way of eating that's growing in popularity, but that's nothing new for Whole Foods co-founder, John Mackey, who was inspired by the movement to open up the very first store back in 1980. Named the food trend of 2018, over the last decade, consumers under the age of 40 have upped their fresh vegetable intake by 52%. Food is evolving at such an incredibly fast pace. As a result, we're getting amazing new talented chefs who are able to produce super healthy but super delicious food. In fact, according to a recent study, people who ate whole diets rich in plant-based protein and unprocessed foods were shown to be at a lower risk for developing diabetes, heart disease, and high cholesterol. How we eat and what our lifestyle is is a huge determinant of our vitality and of our, our health and longevity. All right, let's get into it here with some plant-based dishes you might want to try is Chef Chad Sarno. He's the co-creator of Recipes in the New Whole Foods Cookbook. Chad, good morning. Thank I think when we me. think of these plant-based foods, you know, we think of almost like rabbit food, sort of bland and boring, but according to some of these recipes in the book, it's, it's anything but that. Yeah, no, we're really focused on flavor. I mean, that's a big part. I mean, whole food, 100% whole food, 100% plant-based is the book. 100% delicious is what we're pushing. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of our favorites from the book. Perfect. And, uh, and we'll start off with with a, a baguette. It's a, right. it's a baguette with a, a artichoke, hearts of palm sort of dip, similar to kind of a seafood dip. So first I want to roast some tomatoes. So I have some half tomatoes here. I have some half tomatoes. And by roasting and you know slow roasting, you're intensifying the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some thyme in there, some thyme in there, some crushed garlic also. Does it matter how the tomatoes sit in there, whether they're not, down not or necessar up? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just season that up. And then we have those. Garlic, thyme, yeah, salt. Yeah, garlic, thyme, some salt, some pepper. You wow. can actually put those in the oven on 375 for about 15, 20 minutes. And then you've intensified the flavors a right. here. So, so I'm just going to move over here to the next step. So we're going to end up making a kind of similar to a seafood style dip. So we're going to go ahead and use some, some hearts of palm. Mm -hmm. okay? And then we're going to go ahead and add some artichokes, artichokes as well. And we're going to go ahead and pulse that up. You want to pulse yep. that up for me? That and that's great. it. There's no other. That's it. That's the base of it. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. There we go. Oh, there we go. Pulse it up. Okay. Excellent. That looks good. Okay. And so you want to get a nice consistency there, mm -hmm. kind of similar to like a crab dip. You right. Know? So then we're going to move over here. This has been in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and add all the additional ingredients here. So I have some uh, non-dairy cream cheese. There's lots of them on the market. This is an almond cream cheese out okay. there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Hoda and Savannah are here eating. That. <laughs> Where do you, have you, have you had the baguette yet? Oh, oh Hoda's got a whole thing. Too. So I'm going to add some red onion, a little bit of spinach in there. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the seasoning. So I have some Old Bay, you know, again, reminiscent of sort of that seafood flavor. Right. I have some kelp granules, which is a, a seaweed, and then wow. some nutritional yeast in there. And that's going to just add a nice additional flavor to that. So if you want to mix, mix that up. up, that would be great. You got it. And then what I'm going to end up taking is I have a whole grain baguette, mm -hmm. right? And then I'm going to go ahead and spread that whole grain baguette with this mixture. Do you toast the baguette? No, you're going to actually toast it afterwards. So ah. I'm going to actually put it in the Good oven. Good question, Savannah. Good question. Mm, thank you. Yeah, great question. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to actually put this in the <laughs> oven here. Um, so I'm, I'm basically spreading the, the mixture. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it with those tomatoes, with those roasted tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And this is great just as like a dip thrown on. I would never even think. It's only 30 seconds. You better get to this pizza. About adding nutritional yeast or right. kelp know. seeds no. or the Old Bay spice. But between the Old Bay, the garlic, I mean, these are powerful, the roasted tomatoes. This is where yeah. all that flavor is coming from. Yeah, you're getting a ton of flavor. Also, the texture is what people are sort of used to with the seafood dip. So let's go right. ahead and, okay. and move on to the next one here. We're going to make a, uh, our take on a whole food style pizza here. All right. Carson. Huh? So we What's have, your crust? We have, it's a whole wheat crust. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we have some barbecue sauce. Okay. Uh, I'm down in Austin, Texas. So yep. we like a little There's bit of There's another bold sauce. flavor right there. Mm. We, we got to go. We're out of time, uh -huh. unfortunately. Yes. But uh -huh. how
the pizza. Mm -hmm. So just That's a barbecue, right and then up. you're going to have some, just what, some, some carrots? Some, some yeah. sweet potatoes, some roasted sweet potatoes yep. on there. Mm -hmm. We've basically added some sweet potatoes, some uh, mm -hmm. get, shade get in there. Get in there. Get no get cheese either. That, no thank cheese. you. So recipes are today.com slash food. For more on the cookbook, check out today.com slash shop. Pick it up. We're back in a moment. Thank you, Chad. Thank you so Manja, much. Manja, everybody, eat yeah. up. But